Well, kind of decided to make a second afternoon video on that Delta 24-inch scroll saw. And uh, earlier, the video I made, uh, which is not loaded yet, uh, actually showed the shaft where it was bent. And uh, this is going to have to be a catch-up on part two. I managed to straighten a daggum piece of uh, stainless tubing out, which is uh, not perfect. But it's straighter than it uh, was when I put the uh, rosebud to it or the heat to it. And I spent a little more time on that. And I got it running as straight as I can get it. And uh, if not, I will go get a, a new piece of uh, the stainless tubing, which is 5 8 uh, 6 uh, uh, It's a uh, 45 thousands thick but let's uh, go here and we're over to mill right now and show you how I polished it up I was actually gonna do this earlier battery went dead on the phone so couldn't do the video let's uh, get this over here real quick and let's fire this thing up hopefully it's a little hard to see. I can zoom way in here, I guess. Let's see if we can zoom in. And got very little wibble. Took some 400. Used some uh, good old uh, cutting uh, oil. And then I went to 800. And uh, it worked out real good on the mill. And I'm not for sure that uh, I could not polish this to a chrome, chrome finish. But she's got very little uh, wibble in and out. Let's turn this off a minute. Let's clean her up. And then we'll move over there to the uh, what we got done this afternoon. But uh, yeah, chucked up in a 5 eighths uh, collet just fine. And uh, there was a little bit of scoring uh, right in through here. And so let's uh, turn this off and just, or well, let's stop this video and go over to the other parts. All right, we're back over here at the work table and uh, took it cleaned out all the, uh, there was actually some sawdust and stuff that got sucked in by the air pump in here. Not bad, but uh, got zero backlash. Bearings feel really good. And uh, like I say, I subscribed to uh, Dimitri over there uh, when he did that, 24. And uh, now here's the plunger that goes in here. All right, I might get coordinated here. Now I'm metallic, and of course ABS wasn't around then, but it almost uh, feels and looks like uh, metallic. This is the piston that goes in here, but I don't find any oil in here because these are sealed Timken bearings according to the parts number in a very, very good shape. But I am going to reassemble this and I'm going to put some either light oil, like five weight oil in here, or I need some comments. Uh, maybe I use graphite just a little bit. So this thing will run around here on this shaft You know, you can see the plunger action if I hold my fat fingers out of the way. And it it's nice and, you know, nice snug type fit. I'm gonna lay this back down here. And uh, here is the cap that goes in. The O-ring uh, being a wide O-ring is in pristine shape. I may put a little bit of brake uh, 
you know, fluid on it, swell it a tiny bit. It wasn't filthy. It, this is how I pulled it out. And here in this little cup, boy, I hate to reach my hand down in that acid, but uh, I'm soaking this up here. This is the one for the uh, uh, bottom and the, uh, let me get this over here real quick. The set uh, thumb set screw will not budge more than about two turns. So we're gonna leave that in the acid for a little bit and then we'll uh, neutralize it. And that was for the lower part of the blade. Got the plate that holds on the top of the housing all cleaned, ready to go. Got the main oil plug cleaned that comes out of the bottom of a 24 inch. Some of the other ones had a knockout plug, but this one actually had a place for the plug to drain the oil, change it. Very good design. And uh, again, I'm gonna reiterate from uh, vintage uh, machinery, uh, Gen Tools, uh, Keith Ruckers, uh, site when you download these I, I'm going to have to contribute to his site because this is uh, valuable valuable information not a total restoration manual but there's eight pages here that has helped immensely and uh, let's go over here I'm going to stop the camera a minute I'm going to get a light we're going to shine down into the oil well Let's hope that I can get you a good shot down in here. Now, there is some old debris, uh, caked up oil. Uh, it's not really, really bad, but uh, I'm gonna be cleaning this out and I'll put that plug back in here. Gonna be knocking out, of course, that uh, Ron's uh, bushing, replacing it. But uh, this has got to be pristine clean and uh, let me see if we can get a good shot down in here. Yeah, there is, uh, you know, caked up and a little bit of rusty debris down in there. If I'm giving you a good shot, you're the ones looking through the camera, not me. So uh, clean up this reservoir, clean up the wrist, take this head off, pristinely do it. And, uh, I'm thinking uh, go ahead back to like the original color because it is all battleship gray and I've got numerous you know the south bend well excuse me the LeBlanc lathe is gray the JD Wallace radial arm saw is gray the drill tree over there in the uh, corner it's all, uh, you know, battleship gray. And uh, nope, was thinking about John Deere green and yellow. I, I think just gray. It, it's a serviceable tool. And then uh, also I was watching another site where they mounted the motor down under the table instead of here, up here by this file. Oh, let's go over the reason why the file's out here. Right in here. There was, uh, you know, from the original casting, some burrs and both sides. Removed all of them. It's gonna get out my air Dremel or my electric one and remove them, but uh, very little effort uh, was taken. So all those burrs are gone. And uh, let me get rid of this light. It's kind of ignoring me, bothering me. All right, this thing get up there on the top. Out of the way. Decals. Dimitri Gover said, yeah, they're available. And uh, maybe Randy Richards, uh, you can give me a, where you get all your Delta decals. Uh, I would sure appreciate it because definitely need, this is a decal, not a brass badge. And some of the 
oh, uh, I guess newer Deltas over here would have had a badge with a serial number on it here. This one doesn't have it. So this may be 49 to 50 instead of 52. Well, enough for Saturday, uh, excuse me, enough for Sunday and uh, got to go in there and cook up the bride some supper and get her meds and uh, thought I'd uh, just go ahead and make this part two on the Delta. So the next time you see it, uh, hopefully it'll be out there. I either sodium blasted or light uh, glass blast this thing. Get her ready for paint, primer, and uh, put her back to work because it's going to be a useful tool for this shop. Again, today, 105 degrees outside, 99 in the trim shop, and I hope my HVAC guy can show up here tomorrow figure out whether it's thermostat or if we've lost Freon, because the backside uh, where our, the trim shop's at in the house, unbearable. And uh, that also uh, impacts the front. So we're out of here again. This is uh, gonna be part two on the Delta 24. Scroll saw. Y'all come back and visit.